how did we how did we meet yeah so that story i mean i think a lot of people probably meet this way now is work we met through work we met through work um i worked at by the way i've got a little list here of things i wanted to talk about this is none of that so we're just completely going off the rails but But you know what let's just go with it yeah i worked at (laughs) gap gap yeah the clothing store you did um and I worked there for probably quite a few years before you came along. Yeah, because um, I was not working at Gap. No. I, I um, used to work for a local government authority. Which is quite a bit of a change of career for you, but I was doing yeah, like... Yeah, just had enough. I walked out one day, that was <laughs> it. I was like, you know what, I'm going to go sell some t-shirts. Well, I was doing all the... What was it? I think I was doing... Was I doing the visuals at that point? I can't no, remember. I think, no, I don't, I don't think, think I was. Were, I don't think you were a merchandiser at that point. No, but I was... You know, I'd been working there for quite some time. Um, so, and I, you know, I really enjoyed working there and mm. it was, it's, it was a lot of fun. But then I'd gone away on holiday, hadn't I? I think I was, went over to see some friends in America. You, yeah, you were, you were, you were, you were away when I, when I applied for the job and you were still away. Yeah. When I started. But it was actually Kirsty's sister Weird. Who worked at the same store. Yeah, I did work with my sister as well. This is what I was saying yeah. about you guys are close, right? And unbeknownst to me, obviously, at that moment in time, mm-hmm. when I first walked into the store to ask for an application form, um, it turns out it was actually Sarah, um, Kirsty's sister, mm. who handed me the application form. So she is kind of to blame for this whole mess. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> I yeah, I just... I, actually, I think I went, I came home from my holiday and I think I remember going straight into into work and I saw Sarah at work. I was picking up when you, you know, when you used to develop pictures. Remember that? Um, I think oh, I'd, yeah, ha- yeah. I'd handed the negatives <laughs> into, into Max Spielman or somewhere. No, like it was that. Boots. It was Boots, boots yeah. Okay. So um, I'd handed negatives in there. So I would think I would, or I'd got, you know, I was going to pick them up and because uh, they used to do it in an hour, didn't they? Oh yeah, that was like that was like super fast. Yeah, well, yeah. Back then it was like develop your prints in an hour yeah. on this iPhone shenanigans. Know, yeah. So you're taking like eight million photographs. Kind of miss, off kind of miss all that, but um, I think it was kind of exciting to see how many photographs turned out because there was always a few that never did, weren't there? Yeah. So it's always, you get it's that always a surprise. Angry, you get yeah. that little angry sticker on from the guy who works at the Photoshop saying like, "Your exposure's all wrong. Yeah. Insufficient light." <laughs> so I, I picked up these pictures and. Um, yeah, and I think I'd gone into work to see my sister, and then mm. I think I saw you, um, like on the other side of the store, and I was like, um, "Music started to play." <laughs> I won't Mr. go that far. Beard. I was. I think I just said, "Who's that?" You know, and he was like, "Oh, that's who's that's... that hunker man over there?" <laughs> and she just said, "Oh, that's that's Andrew. He's he's just he just started." So yeah. I didn't. I just went, "All oh, right, okay," <laughs> and then later, that was it. <laughs> I didn't talk to you that day. No, no. But um, yeah, uh, then I obviously came back to work after um, mm. the holiday was over. So I was back in. She and was in a terrible mood as well. I, I know. He, he I, says that he makes it sound like I'm I'm really look, standoffish or... Look, we've all been there. You've just come back off a... How long had you been away for? You must have only been about two weeks. I don't think you would have okay, had longer so than just, that. You've just come back off a two-week work. holiday to gorgeous, lovely, sunny um, west coast of America. Yeah, it was Oregon I'd gone to. Yeah, so over the west and, west side. And um, now you're back in uh, the Trafford Centre. That's where we, where it was we worked. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which, if you don't know, is a large out-of-town shopping centre, for those who don't know. And uh, basically, now you stood there and you had to give, they used to do like these things called minute meetings at the start of the day at Gap, where you'd kind of like give everybody who was working that day a bit of a breakdown of what was happening. And Kirsty had been selected to give this meeting. And clearly, I believe she wasn't particularly happy about this because <laughs> she seemed kind of grumpy to me. I remember looking at her thinking, these, these attractive women, they're all the same. And I didn't like you very much, if I'm being completely honest. But I, I very quickly changed my mind. I very quickly changed my the mind. The thing because... is, like, I've heard someone said this to me. And I must have, it must be the way I look or something. Someone said this to me before. I, I need to, I don't know. You need to change your face. <laughs> well, apparently. Yep.